One in seven men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in his lifetime. You can be part of saving lives and keeping families together this Saturday. Hundreds will be gathering for the Zero Prostate Cancer Run and Walk, raising money and raising awareness. Uh, former Cincinnati Bengals Jim Breach is this year's honorary chair. He joins me along with Dr. Philip Buffington, Chief Medical Officer with the Urology Group. Gentlemen, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Thank Jim, you for having us. You get asked to do so many things. Why do you say yes to this? Well, I think, as you pointed out, one in seven men, uh, there's been some cancer in our family, not necessarily the prostate sure. variety, but my wife had uh, breast cancer. One of my stepdaughters had breast cancer, uh, and we all know somebody who's had cancer. Absolutely. So any, any opportunity to eradicate a disease, uh, I think, is important to be a part of. Uh, Philip, I'm going to start with you, too. In terms, I read this, is this true? The American Cancer Society says more cases of prostate cancer this year when you compare it to breast cancer. We hear so much about breast cancer. We don't hear a lot about prostate cancer. Why do you think that is? <laughs> uh, that's a loaded question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, skin cancer is the most commonly diagnosed yeah. cancer, uh, and uh, uh, prostate cancer is number two in men. Um, I, I think there's just a lot of awareness for women for breast cancer sure. for whatever reason, and pr I think men are, are, are not willing to talk about prostate cancer, and I think it's one of those kind of things you keep quiet. Well, well, don't you think men don't like to talk about health in general? <laughs> yeah, you're right? right about that, yeah. So how right. do events like this, I think, change the mindset, do you think? Uh, I think you get awareness out there. I yeah. think people forget about prostate cancer, and I, I think, honestly, it's the women, it's the wives and the girlfriends that drag the men in to get their prostate checked. Is, is it that way in your household? You mentioned your wife. Is it that way in your household in terms of the women in your lives, making sure that you stay healthy? Well, in mine, I, I have to go in every year and get my blood pressure checked. Yeah. So that's why, otherwise, I don't know if I'd go back regularly. And right. I think that's a difficult thing. Guys just don't do it until you, it's like almost too late, sure. oftentimes. So. Yes, it's helpful. If you have uh, somebody pushing you, you know, get, get, yeah. their, get your appointment made and stick with your appointment. Actually show up when you have an appointment. And what people don't realize is they're scared about the word cancer, but when you talk about prostate cancer, it's highly treatable. Why is that, Doc? That's just a slow-growing cancer. Yeah. If you find it early, it's very easy to treat. You just, and the problem with prostate cancer, you don't know you have it. Right. It, it is a, uh, until it spreads, you have no symptoms at all. So it's easy to find. It's an easy blood test. So it's an easy thing. Yeah, I mean, I've been screened. I mean, it, real, honestly, it's not that big of a deal, all right? I know a lot of guys <laughs> watch this morning saying it's a big deal. It's not that big of a deal, especially when you talk about your health. And there's a survivor's breakfast, which is a really big component of, of Saturday's event. Tell me about that. Well, it's a, it's a nice thing. We we invite all of our patients that have uh, been treated for prostate yeah. cancer. They come in, and uh, we have a breakfast for them. And uh, you and I are there every sure. year uh, to you know talk to them and thank them for 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 you know raising awareness for prostate cancer. So it's a great event. And the other thing is the urology group very good about this about um, making events where people are screened free of charge. And at those events, some people have been screened. Uh, and tested positive for prostate cancer. Yes, yes. We provide uh, blood tests, PSA testing while, while people are there for free. All right. Uh, we're going to put some information up on your screen. If you are interested in registering for the race, today's the last day to do it online. The race is Saturday. It's at the Urology Group headquarters, a beautiful building right off of the Norwood Lateral. You can see it when you're driving on it. There's a 10K and a 5K as well. You can walk or run. And uh, it's really about survivors and making sure that we work so we have zero prostate cancer in the future. Uh, Dr. Buffington, thank you very much. Nice seeing you again. I'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. Jim, uh, you're, they got the, the roster down to 53. What are your feelings on the Bengals, especially the first game <laughs> against Oakland? I know you're from the Bay Area originally. What's your feelings on the Bengals this year? Uh, I feel really good about the Bengals yeah. this year. Stay healthy. They stay yeah. healthy. I think they can compete with anybody. Uh, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the first game. Sure. You know, going out to Oakland, it gets a little crazy out there. Yeah. Um, they've never won in Oakland, so I think now is the time to change that. <laughs> yeah, let's change wow. this year. Jim, all the best to you, man. See you on Thank Saturday you. as well. Thank you. Uh, we must